over river banks Where the children call out And the fire hits the sky We've been around as a brewery since 1996. Uh, when we moved here, the idea was a better location from the Foothills Industrial Park to allow us to do a restaurant as well, a tap room. Um, the farmer's market was at that time uh, our neighbors just to the north uh, east of us here. So we shared a parking lot with them. J Webb Wine Merchants was behind us. It's kind of unique here actually because this isn't your typical restaurant. It's a tap room for one. We don't have TVs here. We don't serve highballs. We don't uh, get into cocktails. Our wine list consists of a red or a white. Um, it's all about the beer is the focus. So, so our beer, it's all made with uh, you know, recipes that we've been using for, for years. We, we'll tweak, tweak them along the ways. But um, yeah, we're using all real ingredients, real malted barley or wheat, uh, great water. Calgary's got great water for beer. You know, we're using hop. Uh, pellets and whole flowered hops, not extracts or animal bile, which is actually what some companies use to give that bitterness. Um, so yeah, I don't mean to gross you out, but all of our products are all real ingredients. Uh, we're not using food coloring. We're not using uh, syrups or extracts. We get all our alcohol from grain, like all of our sugar content comes from barley or a specialty grain, but it comes out of grain. It's not coming out of soy, it's not coming out of corn, it's not coming, so it's a little bit more of the traditional. It also adds a little bit more to the flavor. You get your color that way. I think it's the way to do it. I'm proud to do it that way. Malting is, by, is where you kind of, kind of trick the seed you start to germinate it right as the seed starts to crack and starts to get a sprout, that's when you stop it. And then to get your different flavors and characters out of the malt is how much you roast it, at what temperatures you roast it and drying processes. Slow. You uh, put it in the mash tun with water. So you have a nice flow rate, you kind of bring it in together so it's mixing all the time. Because you want a nice, even, consistent, almost like soupy porridge consistency of your grain of your mash then you need your mash to steep for about an hour it gives it a grain long enough of a chance to start to release the sugars so you get this kind of sweet 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 water so that's and that's what you want to do you want to extract as much sugar out of the grain as you can because that's what's going to give you your alcohol that's what's that's what the yeast is going to eat so the more sugar you have the higher the alcohol the less sugar you have the less alcohol so once you have that you put it over to your kettle. And in the kettle, that is where you're gonna add your hop additions. The hops you add at the beginning of the boil are gonna give you most of your bittering flavors. They're the ones that are gonna give you a little bit of punch. And so the less time the hops boil, the more aroma you're gonna get out of them and the more flavor you're gonna get out of them. So there's different styles of hops. They're like spices, there's a bazillion different kinds. So you run it through a heat exchanger, it cools the wort on its way over to the fermenter. You also want to add oxygen at this point because the yeast needs oxygen to, to, to live, to eat and survive. So once you get your yeast in there and your wort's all in there and you sealed up your fermenter, it's clean, everything's clean, you're ready to go, and then you let it ferment. <laughs> so at this point, this is where it becomes beer a byproduct of the yeast is carbon dioxide. So they eat all the oxygen, they eat all the sugar out of the wort, they make you alcohol and carbon dioxide. So they put your bubbles in and give you the beer. They do it all for you, it's magic. The barrel aging is a very similar process to a lambic. You put beer in a barrel, usually an old whiskey barrel, sometimes a wine barrel, port barrel, and you let it sit there for a couple months. Keeps All out of cigarettes till morning. Someone should really put me to bed. Oh, for more now, sure.
guess I would keep rolling on tonight. I enjoy the ambiance, I enjoy that there's no TVs, people come here and all you hear and you can hear it in the background, people are talking. I, I love this place, it's, it's very special, it's, it's unique and um, it's, it's, been, it's been built by Carrington. I don't think you can get any better service anywhere in Calgary. What sets them apart? The personal relationships that they build with regular patrons and their ability to strive to overachieve the standard level of service in the industry. It's evolving, so we'll see how it evolves the next day. It will be intriguing to see where they go next. My hopes for the future of Wild Rose Brewery and the tap room is that we can continue this model moving forward. Um, it's not a uh, secret anymore that our lease is up here in essentially a year. I know many people that have come here and told me that same story. They are now Wild Rose fans and wherever they go, no matter what's on tap, they always have at least one Wild Rose. So yeah, it's, my hope is that we can continue this going for many years to come. Be what I want to see A true ocean romance My tide 